He drove to school with American flags waving from the back of his truck, but he was told to get rid of them. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez is live outside North Glen High School. Tyler, the students telling you he was told those flags could disrupt diversity? Right, Teresa, and he was surprised. One of the first things you notice on campus here is a flagpole right out front and old glory on top. But this high school junior says he was told yesterday his mobile flags might make others uncomfortable. For Jeremy Stoppel, this one truck parade's been a long time coming. Now that I finally get to drive to school, I have a truck. That's what I want to do. I want to fly my flags. He added the three by five foot symbols last weekend for several reasons. September 11th is coming up, so I wanted to fly them in honor of that. My cousin is actually in the Navy. But Thursday, he says here, as he arrived at school, a campus security supervisor got on him, first for squealing his tires, then for the flags. She said I should take my flags down. She said that this is a school that focuses around diversity, and she doesn't want anyone to feel uncomfortable by me flying these flags. How do you suppose anyone would feel uncomfortable in America with an American flag? That's where, that's where I'm confused. He and his father want an apology. To me, she's just threatening him, hoping that she can just bully him so he can just take him down and just put his tail between his legs and say, I'm done. I'm just Sorry, sorry, sorry. And that's just not going to happen. So Jeremy drove to school today and in service date and spoke with the principal. And so did we to ask how this could happen. I am unaware of that situation, so I need to talk to that person and see under what, um, you know, why they did that, if they did that. We have them in the hallways upstairs. So we promote flying the flying of American flags. Can you imagine <laughs> a scenario where uh, an American flag on a vehicle would be a disruption of the educational process in a parking lot? No. That staffer comes back to work on Tuesday. Jeremy, the student, says he lost his parking privilege for two weeks due to squealing his tires. He's okay with that. And so far, he's happy the principal is getting involved, but both he and his father say they still want that apology. Live in North Glen, Tyler mm -hmm. Lopez, 7 News.